Hi guys. This is a reading to see who this person is that is in your energy, what they want with you, all that good shit, okay? So we're going to lay some Romance Angels cards as, as the premise for our reading. Give us a message as a platform here to stand on. My Geminis. Who is this? I'm feeling really scattered energy here. Let me see something. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Somebody that may have been really pushy, trying to get you to do things that uh, you probably weren't ready to do. Commit to them even before you were ready. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Again, I feel like um, this person was trying to push their own views onto you. They were projecting onto you. They wanted to move or do something differently than how you wanted to do it. Hmm. They felt like how you guys were maneuvering, um, it, it wasn't what they really wanted. They wanted something to happen um, faster or uh, the way they wanted it to happen. You know, then we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully, not being pushy, not putting your beliefs onto someone else. I feel like this is that type of person that did this to you, made you feel this way, like it was either their way or the highway here. Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Hmm. I do feel like um, a lot of the the issues that you had with them, um, it it revolved around finances. I don't know if you guys felt like this person was all about money or something like that because it's so off. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to use a vice versa tarot. See who this is. Who is this person for my Geminis? Who is this? This is a page of wands, but you know, this is the other side of it. This is them showing interest, um, looking to explore new things, being open minded, being light hearted, but. That's the other side of it. I feel like this person checked out when things didn't go their way. This is also somebody that has been really hurt. Really, truly hurt. Um, that's that phoenix right there. I feel like this person had many failed relationships. Many circumstances where they were hurt before in the past and just felt like um, they had to reinvent themselves, pull themselves together and rise up from the ashes so many times. Aries energy here. I feel Aries Pisces kind of energy. <clears throat> Nine of Pentacles. Somebody that's very confident in themselves, but they've never quite felt at home in a relationship. Even though I feel like they've had more than one, more than two, you know, probably several, depending on how old they are. But they were always failed relationships because this person is very independent. Very independent. Um, very self-sufficient they may not be wealthy they may not make a whole lot of money but this person is is very self-sufficient as far as like being able to take care of themselves and not really um, needing someone that uh, to support them financially to provide for them okay hmm And then we have the Knight of Cups. This is somebody that I think they um, they checked in and out. Like I said, I feel like.
feel like they they would lose their zest for uh, a relationship very easily, depending on how you they perceived you at that time. They could be in love this day and hate your ass the next day. Very Scorpio type energy here. I feel Scorpio Aries is strong for a lot of you guys. Very attractive person. I feel like they were attracted to you. But um, I feel like this person, you know, they, they had a lot of issues before you. Separate from you, okay? And then we have the Knight of Swords. I feel like a lot of their arguments with you, you, you felt like they were, um, <laughs> they were like null and void. They were like, they, they didn't make sense. This person had a hard time proving their point. They probably didn't speak clearly either. They weren't really clear on, on what it was that they wanted, what it was that they needed, how to get their point across without coming across like they were batshit crazy. Okay. Aquarius energy here. Let's get some clarifications on these cards. <clears throat> Seven of Swords. They function a lot out of their um, lower uh, vibrational energy, this person. Depending on how they perceived you. And how they feel sl felt slighted, they they were oh my god! I feel like this person really had issues. It's a thing, and I don't feel like I feel like their perception, their their reality was just that. It was their reality, nobody else's. So they may have taken something that you did as a slight to them when that was not the case at all. And then they would turn around and do some shit to you or just be um, not in the relationship or break up with you. Like this was a situation that they were in and out of. They get mad at you, break up with you. Next couple of days, you guys back together. Get mad at you, break up with you. I mean, that kind of shit. That Aquarius energy there too with the Seven of Swords. two cards here we have the nine of wands and the ace of swords here this is this is a go-getter though is a thing i feel like this person moved people out of their life so very easily when they feel slighted because they feel like i don't need anybody else i can do this shit all by myself i don't need you you know and then they felt like you know what their reality was was a truth they were always right and always justified in their actions towards you. They felt justified. Ace of Cups. Hmm. I feel like this was a. They were selfish, but they really didn't know that they were being selfish, is, is the thing. This person needed to heal. This person needs to heal still, I feel. Um, there's a lot that uh, this person needs to reconcile within themselves. Their own feelings before they can actually be with someone else. Whether it's you or someone else. I feel like therapy would be a great thing for them. Because I don't feel like they're a horrible person, this this person. I think they've just had some some really horrible life experiences and probably started in childhood. Um, and they just carried these these things with them into adulthood. <clears throat> then we have judgment. Hmm. I feel like, you know, maybe they um, are recognizing some of the things that really trouble them outside of relationships, really um, bothered them, you know, that affected them 
even as as young uh, a young child even but there's something that I feel like they're trying to take accountability for they're trying to see things clearly they're trying to see things as they are and not how they perceive them they're trying to turn the other cheek and and, and really look at all sides of the story because with judgment after the judgment is the world right that's the end of the tarot that's Saturn energy. I feel like this person has been dealing with a lot of karma over the years. And they're about there. They're about there to turn over a new leaf. Because I see them, you know, trying to heal certain things within them and trying to reinvent themselves. Here's that Phoenix. And this is this is about like the phoenix, you know, looking in the mirror and and trying to figure out, you know, how to come back from this. What can you do different? They've always been searching for what to do differently in each of the circumstances that they found themselves in over the years. And here they are again. And this is possibly after the relationship with you. Um, trying to figure out how to reinvent themselves. What do they need to do differently to be successful? Hmm. Let's see what they really want <clears throat> with you guys here. What? Oh, okay. Give me a second. <clears throat> what do they want with you guys? What do they really want with you guys? Gavel. Involvement with the law. Ooh. Misunderstanding. Hmm. This person still wants to be with you. I feel like this person, if they could go back and fix some things here, they would. They would. I feel like um, this person really wanted to be with you guys, really wanted to marry you guys here. They wanted something um, official with you. I think they still do. They really want to uh, converse with you, sit down with you, talk things out. They really do. But the thing is, I don't know if they've worked out everything that they need to work out is a thing. I see that they're getting there. I see that they're trying to face themselves. They're trying to, um, you know, really take a look at their actions and how what they've done has contributed to the breakdown of this relationship. But um, I definitely see them wanting to have a conversation with you. Hmm. Let you get your words out. Let you get your feelings out. Yeah. So that is what I have for you guys. And um, I'll be speaking with you soon.